Yo YouTube, what is going on everybody? Welcome to today's video where ladies and gentlemen, we are here back. Pretty guys, the SOTW first episode here on play.pvpcloud.net's brand new game mode Minecraft Tycoon Gens. So first guys, if you want, go ahead and join the server. You guys are absolutely loving this game mode. We've had such positive feedback. You guys are absolutely loving it. So thank you all so much. Um, And because of that, for today's video, I'm actually gonna be going ahead and giving away um, uh, we're gonna go ahead and give away three flower loot boxes on today's video so if you guys want to enter the giveaway for three flower loot boxes all you guys have to do is just leave a like subscribe comment your username or ign down below and for today's video the way it'll work is every comment you guys comment down below will be an entry so if you comment down below your entry like 10 times that's 10 entries if you do it a thousand times it's a thousand entries you guys get the idea so go ahead and do that guys um and yeah, yeah this is also the gens channel so i have a gens channel skyblock channel and a prisons channel they'll all be linked down below um in all my videos moving forward it just makes it easier to kind of sort out content so people see the content they like and i'm gonna be uploading daily across like all these channels so i hope you guys are excited it's gonna be fun um and i'm really excited to start this gens journey because it's gonna be an absolute blast but we are here at the beginning and to get things rolling right now i actually want to go ahead and start off by opening three flower loot boxes right here so let's go ahead and open these bad boys and we're gonna start this off with uh three flower loot boxes hopefully we get something decent if we take a look at the loot pool right here we can get some um awesome pouches but the big big thing in here is there's actually a uh, flower set which is a custom set and this set is super super op um this is what a lot of people are currently using there's also like rank vouchers and stuff like that we could also get access to more gen slots and i know right here for me it says we have 99,000. it's just because i'm owner rank uh, right now we are starting off at 35 gen slots and then i'm, I'm just gonna be keeping track of how many gen slots i have manually throughout the season so yeah we'll get that fixed and situated in a later date um i'll, I'll get that fixed with an admin or something but yeah let's go ahead and open these these bad boys hopefully we could get something good let's just go ahead and do this one we get five items in these and what a first opening right there we got an elite cell one flower boots right there okay that was really really good and like i was telling you guys the flower set is super op we get a ores money and level multiplier and it's 0 0.15 0 0.8 and 0.5 so that is super super op we got some crystal boxes right here and we got really really good money pouches and xp pouches right here so that's actually a massive w of an opening and also guys if you wanted right now for this week since it's the release lease of gens if you guys go to the store you can actually use code gens as a discount code and it literally will take 50 percent off your order it's the first week only so make sure you guys go ahead and pick something up um and yeah thank you guys for supporting the service supporting the store and hey shout out my boy mad hatter right there just picked up some clouds absolute legend but okay let's go ahead and go back here we got the flower loot box i'm just gonna go ahead we got two more of these we need to open ideally right now um honestly ideally right now we probably would get another armor piece Ooh, okay so we got some black scrolls right here that's good because that will make it so if we get a different crystal or a better one um we could go ahead and take that off we did get an extra pair of flower boots so we could actually maybe go ahead and sell that that could actually be really good value we got legendary orbs pouch and more xp and we got a pet box the pet box is really really good okay that was a really good opening let's go ahead and do our final flower loot box right here come on give me something decent right now wow okay so we just got 30 ultimate level pouches eight pet boxes is right there i didn't even see what the last item was that was a phenomenal opening though okay yeah that was such a w okay i'm super super happy okay so that was a great way for us to go ahead and kind of start off right now and honestly you know what i'm just gonna be nice right now i'm gonna give my boy maddie gamer right here hey maddie gamer there you go take the boots i gave him some flower boots right there just you know he, he was there for the opening i might as well go ahead and do it absolute legend um but okay we got some really good stuff right here that i want to go ahead and open right now so we got these ultimate level pouches so the way these work oh my gosh these literally level us up so that's super op oh wait do they level us up by one level each time though oh no it's a random stored amount of xp so i guess we're just gonna go ahead and redeem all these real quick let me just mute my sound so you guys don't get spammed by this let me just go ahead and open all that boom 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 okay so we're level 61 now i think it says 86 percent. i don't know if that's 86 percent on the way to prestige or whatever but we'll we'll kind of take a look uh next thing we're opening orbs pouches right here oh wow we're, we're gonna get a ton of orbs from this let's see wow we're at 800 million orbs okay ultimate xp pouches right here here we go how much xp are we gonna be at 371 000 we'll take and then finally the legendary money pouches right here boom 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 there we go we got 1.4 built to go ahead and start us off and oh there's one more ultimate level pouch right there okay boom there we go and i guess that, that percentage is based on the level number right there but really really good opening to go ahead and start us off right there um and then like i said we did get uh tier two pet boxes right here let's just go ahead open these and see what are we gonna get what kind of pets are we gonna get right 
right here a lot of common uh, uncommon okay we did get a rare xp pet so i guess that's probably the best thing or is orbs probably better right now i don't really know i know you could do pet fusion right here and so like ideally i think we could do like quick fusion right there did we get any commons that went to a higher level i don't think we did i don't think we have it quite enough yet for that so yeah i mean i guess honestly for right now i think orbs is like the main priority so i think i'm just gonna run an orb pet for the time being i mean i know technically speaking i do not know why oh, wait okay it's just a little weird bug but um i think like xp pet but like xp is kind of a good for levels i don't really know which one makes the most sense i don't know we'll figure it out so right now what we're gonna do is we're gonna do slash farm right here we're gonna click on the wheat farm right here and it's gonna take us to our little grinding zone right here and this is a wheat area you can come here and grind this is like the starting area and basically the way it works is i mean as you guys see right here we're gonna be able to go ahead and start leveling up our harvester hoe before we start working worrying about gens on our island right now the main thing on the server is our little omni tool right here because there's a sword and there's a harvester hoe and there's a lot of enchants of the harvester hoe that'll be really really good in the future except they do require some high level prestige and so as you guys see right here like the top enchant requires like prestige 50 so that will take a while to go ahead and get to but like hey we're gonna be patient we're gonna do it um i don't really think i guess orb greed we could kind of like put a lot of inch money into and how much is it gonna cost it's only gonna cost us 256 million orbs to max that out so we're gonna go ahead and do that right there boom there we go we already maxed out our orb greed enchant that was a phenomenal pull right there and let's see there is a speed enchant we could do haste enchant i don't really care about those two i guess experience enchant would be the next one and that maxes out our level 10,000. uh but right now we only can get about a thousand levels so i'm just gonna hold off on that we'll see how many orbs i earn right now from our harvester hoe where it is now the thing is is as you guys can tell a big thing on this server is upgrading and we actually probably should do that right now um so if we actually go ahead i think what we need to do is uh just go to spawn area right here and then in the spawn area there's this thing called an upgrade table and the way it works ladies and gentlemen is if you right click on this you can upgrade the the whether it's your hoe or your sword whatever one's in your hand uh with money so we're gonna go ahead and do it right there boom we just spent 250k to upgrade it and now if you guys see we now have an orb boost and enchant boost on our harvester hoe and that's really really good but we want to keep on upgrading this right here so 375k boom we're just gonna kind of like take it through this right now i guess we're just gonna spend our money on this the only other concern right now though is that we technically could spend like 1.4 bill on um generators right now so i don't want to spend i don't want to waste too much right now because we still need to get like our basic gen farm going at our island but i do want to get like our harvester hoe decently like right now it's only tier five let's just go ahead and upgrade this a decent amount and i actually just got it upgraded to a stone hoe now so that's really really good let's just keep it going through right now maybe it just gets a little bit more expensive i would say because right now oh and now it's an iron hoe right now so like as you guys can see it's not that expensive for right now oh it's starting to get expensive though okay that might be maybe we get it to like tier 20 i'm gonna get it to tier 20 right now just to be safe okay was that like tier 18 tier 19 oh my gosh that's so expensive okay we can't even upgrade it anymore so we got it to tier 19 but that was worth it because now we have a 1.14 times boost and we have a 0.095 enchant boost right there so that is going to make our hoe a lot more valuable as we grind um so that was super super worth it but yeah so if we go back to the wheat farm here we could go ahead and start grinding right now and our orb green makes us like 162,000 orbs when we find it so that's actually pretty solid definitely no complaints there and we're gonna go ahead and start to prioritize that in the future but yeah i just kind of wanted to get the basics going with our harvester hoe right now just because having this thing kind of like upgraded is gonna be super super op now another thing you guys might notice is we are also getting these things called armor shards and if we do slash sets on the server there's basically four other just regular sets you can buy and until we get ourselves a full flower set we are going to want to be able to go ahead and uh just run a regular orb set for right now so that's kind of the thing we're going to do you get these things through armor caches it's you get random armor through it and so right now you get it costs a thousand armor shards a thousand of these things to go ahead and be able to buy those armor cases so we'll hopefully get it unlocked soon but as of right now we could kind of just prioritize just grinding right now trying to upgrade our harvester hoe as we go on so let's go ahead and head over to my island though right now because we kind of like i said need to start with the actual basics on the server so if we go to the shop right now and go to the gen shop right here um i could buy 35 of these gens right now so if we take a look go to generator shop um i think right now what probably makes the most sense i'm trying to think math wise we got 360 mil i mean that means we could probably spend you spend about 10 mil per each one so the best ones we could buy right now is the honey honeycomb gem generator um so i'm just gonna go ahead and buy 10 of these that's the max we could buy right now. oh wait no i did my math wrong oh wait, no, no no i did my math correctly so yeah we're gonna buy 35 of these right now boom there we go we have about 10 mil extra um i'm just gonna get these bad boys placed down this again is our starter gen farm so like don't 
think into this one too much. We are going to definitely expand on this farm very, very soon. But right now for where we're at, we just want to start getting gen farms placed. And yeah, like I said, we definitely need to like expand this farm. This farm needs to become a lot more OP. This is like a, this is like the literal default gen farm that you get on your island when you start playing. So don't think too big into it. But as you guys saw right there, the honeycomb started to generate. You guys see it right there. It's starting to generate. And that will go ahead, go into these chests right here and we can start selling them. So that's like super, super OP. I'm glad we got that right now. We do only have 21 of the gens placed. So this default farm only goes ahead and can handle 21. So we do need to go ahead and get the rest of these plays. I guess what we're probably just going to go ahead and do is I'm just going to expand this out over here this way. Just for right now, we'll end up building a bigger gen farm in like a future episode and stuff like that. But for right now, like with this, yeah, we're just going to go ahead and expand it. I guess I could exp expand it like uh, horizontally as well. Maybe, maybe we'll just do that. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to work on expanding this farm real quick. Hopefully it turns out decent. Don't make fun of it. It's our starter farm, guys. Don't make fun of me. Um, but yeah, we'll go ahead and do that. And then we'll kind of get another things going. I just want to get this kind of automation part of our island down for right now, uh, just so that we're starting to make money in the background because these things do make decent money um, and could be super valuable for us here in the future. Okay, guys. So here we go. Went ahead and I think I set up this farm pretty decent right here. Gonna go ahead and place this down. This should work. It looks like it's working right here. Let's just go ahead and test with all the honeycomb I collected while we were sitting here. Okay, it goes there, falls there. Okay, perfect, perfect. There we go. That's what we like to see. I'm pretty happy with everything that we got going. So let me go ahead and start trash all this real quick. But yeah, I mean, this is a pretty basic like gen farm right here. We're definitely gonna have to uh, make this a better in the future. But for right now, for like a little starter farm, we can only have 35 gens on our island right now um, because that's the max we unlocked. We get more gen slots by doing quests and stuff like that, doing unlocking other things, crate keys and stuff like that. So we'll, we'll get it figured out in the future. But for right now, pretty happy with uh, where we're at. So this is our little gen farm. Definitely a W of an episode so far. We only got like 10 mil. We can maybe upgrade one of these. Let me see. Oh, no, we don't even have enough to upgrade that. Yeah, the next upgrade is like the next tier is 25 mil. So that means we need 15 mil per gen to unlock. So this is a pretty solid. I'm actually, this is really smart to do honeycombs. Uh, we probably want to max out our slots right now. But yeah, pretty happy with it right now. But yeah, considering where we are at the moment, I feel like the next really main thing for me is just to kind of prioritize grinding the farming zones right now and trying to get a higher prestige. Now, I know for the next tier, if we go to warp, let's go to the carrot farm right here. As you guys see, there's people, you guys see a ton of people grinding here but that the carrot farm requires prestige five i'm not sure what it costs to prestige so the prestige it costs 100k money and 100k orbs so boom we're just gonna go ahead and do that and now with our prestige we also gain a 1.05 multiplier so as you guys can see that's super super important so let me just go ahead we're gonna okay we need to be level 45 to prestige again and I feel like low key, we might've wasted some of those levels we got from the flower loot box. Cause I feel like you only need to be like level 30. So now we know like this time when, right when we hit level 45 to prestige. Um, so yeah, I mean, yeah, I guess we got to hit level 45. And the way we're going to go ahead and do that is by grinding wheat right here, just like your boy is. Um, so yeah, I guess that's just kind of what we're going to have to do for right now. It looks like we're going to be able, and now, now that I think about it, but now that I'm realizing like how important everything is, I low key think we maybe should upgrade the experience enchant now because with the experience, enchant we gain xp while we're farming which will make it a million times easier for us to prestige so yeah i think we're gonna actually just start prioritizing this enchant as well we're gonna go ahead and put a thousand levels into it so if you take a look at our harvester right here we got experience 1076 or greed a thousand um and we probably could upgrade like speed enchant in a in a little actually no wow it's, it's really expensive so no, i'm happy with this right now it's gonna make our lives easier and we're gonna be able to prestige and unlock higher tier farms here very very soon in the future so yeah look at this look at how quick in chat we're already leveling up right now and low key i think it might make sense then to use our rare xp pet like i low key think that might make the most sense but yeah guys this was our sotw star two gens here on play.pvp cloud.net again you guys are absolutely loving this server there's been so much positive feedback so i just want to say thank you all so much and again come and check out the server ips down below and all that um, and again if you guys want to get something off the store use code gens it's 50 percent off right now if you use code gens uh, at checkout and again guys don't forget we're doing the uh, three flower loot box giveaway on today's video so make sure you guys enter that giveaway as well. And as you guys might be able to tell by my voice, I am not feeling 100% right now. I missed the last few days. Um, so yeah, I've been kind of sick. Really sorry about that, guys. But your boy is back. I'm, I'm trying to power through it for you guys. Uh, we'll be back to daily vids across the channel. So yeah, I hope you guys are looking forward to it. Um, but guys, thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you guys all in tomorrow's Gens episode. Um, and again, make sure you guys subscribe to the Prisons and Skyblock channel if you've not done so already. Um, but yeah, guys, thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next one. And until then, bye-bye.